hey guys you're welcome back to my channel today i'm fali lat and today's look is a makeup tutorial that i did it's the full and inspired makeup and i had so much fun creating this look for you guys so please if you want to see how i got it make sure you stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe share and like i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs> So I'm starting by moisturizing my lips with a lip balm, and then the next thing I'm doing is apply this in Echo Gel all over my eyebrows just to make it flat before I start growing. So I'll brush it up first with this fully, then outline with my brow pencil. I think this should be in the shade 18. I'm not really sure. Anyway, I'm just making a line under the under my brows and then above it. The next thing I'm going to do is to use my eyebrow definer from Zaran Cosmetics. I usually use the black shade on the definer because I like when my brows are popping. And then I light my eyebrow with the early girl concealer in the shade Tofi. This concealer is a bit light for my skin so I usually use it under my eyebrows. Just to clean up the rough areas and then to make my brows more defined. And then I use the same concealer but in the shade Beautiful Bronze on top of my brows. This is more of a medium coverage concealer and it's a bit closer to my skin tone. Then after doing that, I just blend out everything with my foundation brush. The next up, I'll be using this Zaron eyebrow definer, the brown shade, to create my transition color. And also the Tara Mabetico palette. I'm taking the burgundy light shade or pinky shade and I'm also applying all over my crease. Because I want it to have a bit of a bright transition color as well. And then from the BH Cosmetics Eyes on the Sixties palette, I'm using the brown or chocolate eyeshadow. I'm also applying it all over my face to give it more depth. Then the Tofi concealer I used earlier to highlight my brows, I'll be using as my eyeshadow base. And then this is the Sleek Cosmetics palette which I'm taking the green eyeshadow and I'm applying it all over my eyelid I'm just repeating the same process all over my lid basically same palette I'm using this black eyeshadow on my outer V just to give my eyeshadow more definition as you can see, I'm not applying it all over my head, I'm just stopping at my outer V. I'm just blending. Next up, I'm using the green black glitter from Classy Cosmetics. It's more of a blackish kind of glitter, but not really that black because I want to create a smoky eye. So I'm putting the benign glitter glue all over my eyeshadow where I want the glitter to sit. And then gently I'm patting the glitter onto my eyelid, the part where I already put the green eyeshadow. And I'm just being careful so that it doesn't go out of line. And from the same time I get purple palette, I'll be applying this purplish kind of color at the point where the glitter ends just right before the black eyeshadow I'm just trying to prevent it from looking too dark and then I'm fixing my lashes from FBC Beauty
din naman fine eyes, mas pa ulit ang my lashes and I have to do my foundation of camera because my patchy demon is great. So yeah, my lighting with the Topi concealer from Every Girl. And I'm doing the old witch thing. You know. <laughs> so I'm blending it out now with this blending witch. And you have to make sure you blend out properly to avoid looking like an Ubanji. And then I'm setting with this Johnson's Baby Pop. I'm using the dark brown concealer from this concealer palette of using that contour my face. So I dusted the powder of camera gel and then next thing I'm doing now is to apply my highlight from the Anastasia Beverly Glow Kit. So I'm just basically putting that all over the places where I already highlighted. So my lipstick is the liquid matte lipstick from Elio Cosmetics in shade black rand and that is what I'm wearing today so I'm setting up everything with my setting spray from classic makeup and this is the finished look you guys I hope you had so much fun watching this Thank you for sticking true till the end of this video. Please, you can also connect to me on my other social media account as far as that. And please, I would love to see your comments in the comment section below as well. So, thank you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.